Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Whirly Pop brand items for you. So these are actually Whirly Pop gummies. And I have the drinks. This one is the Rainbow Fruit Punch and the Sweet Strawberry. The drinks were $1.99 each. The bag of candy was $4.99 and we found all of these at Cracker Barrel. And normally I don't combine food with drink, you know, but they're both Whirly Pop and they're they're all new wow. to us. So we figured we'd try them together. Um, Whirly Pop gummies, It they, they, there's four flavors, cherry, orange, apple, and grape. Four pieces. Yeah, not the same flavor as the drinks. I wanted to, I, I didn't realize that either. No, we're not comparing them yeah. like is the drink the same as the, the right. candy. Those were the only two flavors Cracker Barrel had, by the way, because mm. if they had had more, we would have bought them all. I'm sure they do have drinks Probably. That, that you could compare, but we just couldn't get them. Uh, four pieces are 100 calories. There are seven servings in the container. These are actually manufactured and distributed by Adams and Brooks in San Bernardino, California, which, which have, we've had other things from that company as well. So, but I've never seen these in our area before. They're probably really popular in California. So, this is... Um, I mean, you've seen these suckers and they're carnival suckers, you know? Those big, oh, yeah. hard suckers. These, they smell, these really smell very, very strong and sweet. They smell incredible. They smell great in the apple more than anything. They're shaped, though. They're shaped like a sucker, but they're so heavy that, that you can't <laughs> hold it up. Yeah, do you think we should cut yeah, them? Yeah, cut them in half. Okay, so this is a grape. I think just take them. Okay. Take what? Those are, that's impressive, isn't it? It's a lot of flavor. These are distributed by Adams and Brooks, but they're actually made in Spain. Hmm. The white part really doesn't have a lot of flavor, but boy, the gummy part has tons. That of grape is strong enough to make the whole candy good. Yeah, yeah it's it, really, it it's really, really is. Good. And I like the texture. They're not really, really tough either. Okay, this is orange. I'm just pulling my handle off. More of the chew. <laughs> the stick. Hmm. That is as strong as a lifesaver. That's mm -hmm. how strong that is. That's I'm impressed good. that they have that much flavor in a gummy. Mm -hmm. There's another orange candy we've had that had that flavor, but I can't think of what it is. Something chewy. Not chewy like this, but in a hard shell, kind of chewy on the middle. I'm not sure. This is cherry. Strong cherry flower. It looks too, from this bag, like you get a really good assortment. Mm. Mm. You can see you can eat them pretty quickly. Yes. Because they're not really, I mean, they got some chew to them for sure, but they don't, they don't have a toughness. Like, I might say the name. Haribo um, has a really, really tough, rubbery, really dense gummies. Uh, almost everything they have is really, really tough. Um, unless they have the white foamy on there, then they're better. But um, these are not near that tough. The cherry was also strong. Mm -hmm. Love the flavor. Mm -hmm. Not like that one that much. I was gonna say, this is the only one that I do not like, the it apple. It has a a chemical very it's artificial strange. yeah it's strange it does not taste like a green apple yeah. i have noticed looking at these laying on the plate that it especially this one that's a little bent they look like snails so <laughs> yeah, our daughter snails. yeah mm -hmm. our daughter loves snails you could actually turn these into snails yeah. um all you would need turn them on their side and yes they you could turn all of these into snails that that's adorable that is adorable um, yeah, Maria in uh, Berlin, Germany had sent us some actual Haribo gummies. I believe they were the Haribo brand. It might not have been, but they were actually snails. They were so cute, but these could be snails. That, now I would not pay $5 for the bag again. No, that's way too much money. But that's Cracker Barrel prices. Cracker Barrel charges three times yeah, what a regular- probably two bucks somewhere else. Yeah, they charge <laughs> so much. It's unbelievable. I would never recommend going in there and buying no. any of their food. We only do it because we can find different things for the channel. 
If I didn't have this channel, I would never, ever, ever buy anything in there because it's robbery, trust me. Um, but those are good. If you can find them for a reasonable, pro reasonable price, they're delicious. I just, the only one we didn't like was the apple and we agree on that. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, I could eat the apple, but it would be like, I'd have to eat the apple first to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, it would only be to get rid of yeah. them. It wouldn't be because there's no, any enjoyment. No. Okay, so now for the drinks. Okay. Do you want to try the fruit punch first? I don't care. It's okay, that's, that's the one right. you had on the right. Rainbow fruit punch. <laughs> your favorite whirly pop in a bottle. Uh, same company, Adams and Brooks. Uh, this is a 12 ounce bottle, uh, 170 calories. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be carbonated. What'd you guess? Yes. I heard up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it has a little carbonation there. That does not taste like I expected it. Mm, no, nothing. I like it, but it, that is not fruit punch at all. Not mm. even a little bit. No, I don't know what that is. It almost tastes like a spiced cola. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking it reminds me kind of, of like an RC. Yeah, um, yeah, but it's got a little bit of a, a, a almost like a seasoning in it, like ginger or something like that. I was gonna say RC with a little bit of root beer. Yeah, I could see that. It's, or it's something. It's a, something to it. Even a more more than the root beer is too strong. I should have said root beer. Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I can see RC that. combined with Dr. It definitely, Pepper. Definitely, it, it's more of a cola than. Yes, that does not taste anything like fruit punch. No, if you no. buy that though, and you're expecting like high sea fruit punch or something, you ain't getting in that. But I do like it, and I could drink the whole thing. Yeah, oh yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, this one's a sweet strawberry, it's 170 calories. Same thing as this. We didn't get a cup because we figured we'd share. Oh my gosh. I know where that's going. See, I don't like that. Oh, you're out of your mind. It's way too artificial for me. Oh, I love it. I'll, I... It's very sweet. It's super, super sweet, but the flavor is so artificial, chemical like. Okay, it doesn't taste like strawberry, though. You're thinking of it. I think in your mind, you're thinking you, you want it to taste like strawberry, but it doesn't. Does it remind you of cotton candy? Cotton candy. Yeah. It tastes like cotton candy. It, it does have more of a cotton candy because mm -hmm. I thought this is the exact same thing. Absolutely. But, but I it love still it. tastes very artificial to me. It tastes like a creamy cotton candy. It's so funny not how just cotton candy, but more like an ice cream cotton candy. It's funny how they've, they've said it's one thing and it's not. Oh, they totally all. missed the mark on the. They totally got the flavors wrong. But. That's weird. I like them both. I genuinely do like them both. But I just feel sorry for people who were buying them expecting that absolute flavor and they're not getting like that tastes nothing like strawberry at no, all i mean i would never even get a hint of strawberry but they got the flavors right in the gummies except for that apple so three three of the four flavors in that are absolutely spot on what they're supposed to be it's bizarre um absolutely I, I like them both but but i absolutely love the strawberry now, i would get the rainbow fruit punch because that, that like i said the strawberry just tastes too artificial for me well, it can still go in the favorites pile for the end of the month, and then that'll be mine. It yeah. won't be Kevin's. It'll be specifically one of Tammy's favorites and these because do, I would drink that all the time. I open them with a ball opener, but you can twist them off. It's quicker. We're doing yeah, a video I'm just telling you, quicker. if you buy them, you can take them to the car and twist them off. Absolutely, right? yes. That thing is they're not cold at Cracker Barrel, so. No, they're not. That's that's the thing, and and I tell you something too is. Uh, used to, I'm thinking we bought them before at Cracker Barrel, and they have the little like six pack holder, or four pack holder, little cartons. They didn't have any of those. No, so it was a cardboard box basically. Yeah, we laid them all in there with paper shoved around. Them. Yeah, so good. Yeah, <laughs> rattle, rattle, rattle in the car. Because we bought a lot more than these yeah. to review, and so yeah, it was. It, Kevin was having to drive slower on the way home, and not so swoopy turning corners because he didn't want those bottles to go flying all over the trunk. Um, well, I like the gummies. I'd buy the gummies. I, I, would, I might buy the Rainbow Fruit Punch. Probably not, but I might. But the gummies, I would definitely buy. I would if try you get any cheaper. of these again. Like if we were to go to Jungle Gyms in Ohio and, you found different and I found the whole line of flavors, oh, yeah, I, I would, would try buy every one. single one of yeah, them. Yeah, I would try them. 
because it really it's a mystery because you're not getting what's on the light well you don't know what you're gonna get so it's a game so if you've ever tried these you can let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching